Dang. What a beautiful sight to wake up to in the morning. Good morning, Kuda. I love you. Hmm. I love you guys too, thanks. Shoo! Oh! Dog. That is sick. So good. Oh, hey. Good morning, Demolisha. It is the day of Cletus and Cars Houston. We're on our way. Hey, Mayor. Hi. Hey, Clint. Hey. Hey, Tattoo Mayor. Hey. Hey, AK guy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading to Cletus. We just made it. And we have one new addition <laughs> to the El Camino. We put two flagpoles on the back so the Demolisha flag can fly proud. My favorite part about this is these are two different size pipes that are welded together here. <laughs> so he just squished this one down to make it fit this and then filled it in. Which is perfectly El Cromino style. Like I'm all about it. He nailed it. Totally nailed it. He is the loudest thing ever. Shouldn't be allowed here. This is just too good of a car. That's what the deal is. Look at this mate, a brake master cylinder. It's power brakes from back in the day. You want to know how they have power brakes? It always tilt them up. The uh, the manual brakes always be tilted flat. Look at that turbo. I'm stealing that. Don't tell them back. So is this stock Ford? Yeah, EcoBoost. Yeah. You want to go for a ride? Yeah. All right. Hundred percent. We'll start. Yeah. Well. This is Wesley. How do you say your last name? Champlin. Champlin. This is Weston Champlin. You can call me Brad Pitt if you want to, I'm good with that. Oh, AKA Brad Pitt's brother. <laughs> and he put a 12 valve Cummins in a Mustang. And he calls it Smoke Stang. And his videos are the bomb. And he's gonna take me for a ride in it. Idiot. How long did you build this thing? A year ago? Yeah. Or something like that. I haven't really done a whole lot with it this year because I've been tied up with like Hellcats and bulldozers and army trucks and chasing Bigfoot. Oh, yeah, he has a five ton too. I got the, yes, it's currently stuck in a creek, <laughs> but I still have one. We're, we're 12 valve brothers, we're five ton brothers. Yes, all I need is a 50 BMG. Oh yeah, you do need those. I have several. I could send you one. What? Yeah, it ain't a thing. Don't worry about that. The gauges just give you bad news. If the gauges don't work, they can't give you bad news. Where we're going, we don't need no stinking gauges. You just turn on the chip. Just the chip, just turn on the, the Ford chip. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. I hope this thing doesn't pollute. That's all oh, I care uh, about. Pollute? Yeah. Oh, that word. Yep, that was pretty yeah, cool. It does all right. Dang. I love it. I love it. So good. Look, there's still smoke in the air over there. Oh, yeah. We're That's good. how you know you did a good job. <laughs> that Ooh. is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> but you do a burnout competition in this thing today, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we got to hit wall tap something. We're you know, wall tap something. We're really not doing Have anything. you ever done a burnout competition with this car? No, not with this car. I've done Sweet. a one burnout competition ever in my Helljet, and it lasted five seconds, then my car broke down. The diesels are always the coolest. They're so cool. Oh, yeah. Always. Like, I I mean, like, burnout and Because as soon diesel, as they build boost, yes. it's like, And you get the mix of the black and the white smoke. It, all you need is red, and it's just beautiful. So good. <laughs> Look at this golf cart you got. Oh, you want to, you know, you can keep it ride in yours. I can repay the favor. Oh, okay. Let's, let's do this. Let's go. Let's do this. Does this thing pop wheelies or not? Uh, if you get on the back, it probably would. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna build boost. And then, oh, did you get your seatbelt on? Uh, uh, well, yeah, I've got it on. Boost, boost. Oh! Oh, oh no! Holy cow. Was that the rear end walking you up? Okay? You okay? No, I'm, Everybody good? Hey, I think I got whiplash. You got good insurance? I think I blew a head gasket. <laughs> no, dude. Look at that battery condition. It says F, that means F. I'll be honest. 
I think yours is a little bit faster than mine. Yeah, agree. Yeah. My neck hurts now. Sorry about that. All right, we're out of here. Hey, it's gonna be a dude. Yeah, you too. See you around. Nice shirt, brother. Thank you. <laughs> all right, James. I know you're all about boost turbos. Hi. Give me your honest opinion. What's up, dog? Oh, Captain? now you're on the video. <laughs> Give me a pound. What do you think? Dude, you did great. You like? That's awesome. Thanks, the man. The only touch it needs is like two cans of chrome paint. Over it needs more everything. chrome, like right on those headers. <laughs> like just paint it all. The rims, though. It's nice. Beautiful. Nice. Touch. Beautiful. Oh, this isn't mullet, dude. Oh, uh, it looks like mullet, right? It's just exactly uh, the same. Oh, this is not from me, dude. They look so similar. Scale of one to ten, uh, how do you like my turbo setup? Can you give me a rating? That's this, a big. This is bonus points for sure. Agreed. That's a seventy-five. I'm going eight and a half out of ten. All right, yeah, yeah. I'll take that on my first yeah. attempt. Pretty happy. <laughs> look at this wastegate pipe. That's good to go. Dude, this is sick. Yeah. I just had the rev limit around. <laughs> Why would we need a rev limiter? Okay, good. That's what I was checking. Come on, man. Silly question. Yeah, man. This is this is looking good. I love how you stepped your burnout game up because every time, dude, we're getting bigger every time. I'm not gonna lie. We got some big plans for 2022. All right. So yeah. We need you a pro level burnout comp competitor by 2022. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm in, and I got I got a big announcement later in this video. I'll let you know. Big news. The best car that will be here all day. Oh my gosh, look at those clouds. Is about to show up. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Let's do it. Dude, this is the best car that's here. Uh, it's so much yeah. better than everyone else's. Yep, it's the best one. actually my first time driving the Cummins Barracuda and it was sick. I was watching videos last night I was like Ugh. so many hours went together to make this thing be here right now. I came all the way from George just to see this car. Thanks man. I appreciate yes, sir. it. It's the coolest car here right? Most of them. I, I said there's no way in hell that guy's gonna hit the second with anybody to leave this car. <laughs> it's ready. It's held together by zip ties and you know bailing wire but whatever like we got it here. We got it here. Look at that! That's a Western Special! Hold on, let's look at this. Hey, that's not allowed. What you think? It's nice. Can we drive it? Uh, Come on. Yeah. What's wrong with it? Uh, nothing. It's perfect. It's cherry. <laughs> let's go. It's, it's mostly stock straight off the factory floor. Dude, this thing looks good. I didn't know they had them exhaust manifold stock. Look at that. That's way too nice. Yeah, this was a limited run by Dodge back in the... Uh, 70s. You know, when I was up at Dodge, I think one of them guys talked a little bit about this. Uh -huh. and they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we built a four-wheel drive Dewey car with a Cummins in it, and two turbos, and 
equal length <laughs> headers. Uh, yep. With an exhaust stack that looks like it's ready to stab a stingray. Just jump in here. Jump in the driver's seat. I don't have keys right now, but you can just get in there. I bet you he hits his head on the roof. We need content, bro. Get in. In this thing? Oh my god. There ain't no way. I'm gonna break your steering wheel. Alright, where's the key? He had one underneath a hay monster that broke after putting too much hay on it, and we saw it. It broke? Yeah, it broke the tube. <laughs> right, right up by the pumpkin, it broke the tube right out of the yeah, but you know, if you put that in an oven, you can sometimes pull it out. I'm going to try that when I get out. Yeah, like if you put the pumpkin in an oven, sometimes you can get the tube out. Brandon, get in. You want me to burn out? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rescue that bad influence over there. Dude, He's I'm telling you what. Hey, come on. Give us about 15 minutes. We can't left hear you. The engine's too loud. We'll we can't, be back. can't hear you because hey, of the, the and idle's too loud. Sorry, dude. I wish I, we'll be right back. Hey, Matt, we, we got a marker. There's no time. Okay, yeah, I got it. Bring it. Get over here. Hurry, you gotta get me on the run. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, we gotta go. There you go. That has every letter in my name. See ya. The pan's this thick. And it still sits four inches off the ground. Oh, dang. She's a big girl. The thing is, is this car is actually coming home. I bought this car in Houston. It got in a police chase and jumped and they... Yeah, yeah. They saw the message. Are you gonna jump in Houston? Well, thinking about it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to do it because I think Matt over here wants to jump his, and I just don't want to. I don't want to. Do it. Yeah, let him do it first. Yeah, I'm gonna let him do it first. I'm gonna look at how his springs are working. I don't want to do a burnout, but I'll jump it. Dude, <laughs> let's go. Jump it into the burnout. Pit. That would I'm be. I'm thinking let's get some two by fours over the top of the Mustang over there. That black one, and we'll just do. Oh, like, that's cute. You need a ramp to jump yours? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Almost had him. That was so close. So close. Thing basically looks just like El Cromino. You ready? Yeah, I'll do it. Dialed in. Let's do her. Cletus is about to rip it in the El Cromino. That's the funniest looking spoiler I've ever seen. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. You ready? We need a demolition ranch jet car. right here let's go man I don't know who to root for cleats in the gray one and Weston is in the red one oh look at that 12 valve oh roll that coal 
Woo! Weston's got his turned up. So that second yellow light hit, seven three. Yeah, he needs to scoot up. There you go. And then it goes. Oh shit, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Freight training down there. You can't even see him. Close. Oh, shoot. Oh, I love the environment. <laughs> the 12 valves, they're the best drag cars, obviously, as can be seen by a Galaxy and a Mustang running 12 side by side. We're uh, done with the drag racing now. I think they are going to run the jet cars again, but we're going to go now and start watching the burnout competition. I'm later on in the burnout, so we're going to watch a lot of other people do them first. Burnout competitions, you get graded based on basically how entertaining you are. And so they want you to break stuff. They want you to hit walls. They want you to pop tires. They want to see driver skill where you get like really close to the wall and don't touch it, but they also want to see you smash into it. So pretty much the harder you go, the better your score will be. Fixing our Sousel of Idol over here. How's she looking, Doc? Getting better. You gonna, is she gonna make it? It's already sounding better. Good. Every time when I let off the gas, it was trying to die on our little 10 second test trip. But Dr. Tunamal over here said he'd help me out. Look at that. There's a good doctor doing the good work. And Burke's got it too. He's gonna pull through. The El Cromino is going to make it. For like another 30 minutes until I go rip it. Hang tight guys, we got our open burnout competition coming at
That's what cooked my last motor. Keep running. Uh, uh. Looks good though. Thanks. Felt good. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's inferno, the devil's maze. It's a good world.
this one for me? Yes, I made this for you. Brought it all the way to Denver. So sick. An all nighter driving here. Well, regular militia, we got second over here. Yeah. That's sick. How do you make these? So basically, what I do is I take a flag that needs to be retired. A tattered flag. Yeah. 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 So this is a real flag. This is Toast, Cletus Camaro. And it's the most bananas car you've ever seen. It's probably gonna rip the tires off, just maybe. Cletus and Cars Houston, great success. Uh, they're always fun. Cletus and Cars are always awesome. You guys should come out if you've never been to one. Super crazy, it's crazier than you think. The videos don't do it justice. But this was our first time ripping a Turbo Chromino, and it was great. We have some kinks to work out. As you saw, we died a few times, which was a big bummer to die in front of a crowd. But that was our first, you know, like real going hard on it. And I think I know what happened. So it's turbocharged. Turbochargers shove boost into your engine to get horsepower. So all that pressure goes in there. And if you have too much boost, too much pressure, it'll explode things. So you have a wastegate on there that bleeds pressure. And so I think our wastegate, it was working, but it wasn't working that good when I was like really on it. And so I think it wasn't bleeding enough pressure. And then our computer sensed way high pressure and was like, what is happening? And would just shut us down. And then I finally got it to where I could go at the end. But, you know, I think it's just some adjustments we need to make, some different mechanical parts, a little different computer tune, and I think we can make that thing run perfect. I mean, it did run really good. It was just, it cut us a couple times. The computer was like, chill, bro, chill. I don't know if you know, but you're, you're hurting your engine. And I was like, I know, computer, that's what we're here for. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to figure 
figure out the turbo. I'm new to them. New to waste gates, new to turbos, new to LS tuning. I don't know anything about any of that. But I'm here to learn. Also, I, I remembered I told you guys I have big news. And then I totally forgot to tell you about the big news. So here we are. This is going to come as a little bit of shocker to y'all with as much as you know I love the El Cromino. The big news is this run was the very, very last run the El Cromino will ever do in a burnout competition. The El Cromino is officially retired from doing burnouts. I know, it's sad. But listen guys, the El Cromino's an old man now. Born in 1977, he needs to take a break, you know, like, he needs to do old man stuff, watch his programs, play bridge with his friends, sit and talk about cars and dream about women. And that's what we're going to let him do. We're turning him out to pasture, and we're not going to run him anymore. He did great. That was his third burnout competition, and he killed it. So good. So proud of him, you know. But it's time to give him a break now. He deserves it. He earned it. I know you guys are really sad because I know you guys love El Cromino and you love watching him shine. And he does shine. He is very chrome. So to make it up to you, I actually bought another burnout car. And this one, we are going to turn into the craziest thing you've ever seen. This class of car, there has never been one at a Cletus and Cars burnout competition. It will be the first of its kind. It's the five, I'm just, it's not, that's, that would, that would never work. It's better than that. And you haven't seen it yet, but you will see it soon. And when you see it, you will not miss the El Cromino at all anymore. No, no, no one will be like, man, I wish Matt would get the El Cromino back out here. It's just that good. And I'm that confident about it. Later this week, I will show you the brand new, amazing, epic, beautiful burnout car coming in hot. Thanks for watching this episode of Off The Range. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.